what is up y'all it's amari welcome welcome back to my channel and welcome to vlogmas day 19 we 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 made it we made it y'all we like we're really making it every day with a post proud of myself but anyways today's video is like a spend the day with me come with me Aaron video really i only got one errand <laughs> I hate when I have like errands or one errand and I'm making it seem like I got so much to do one thing so today I am going to the dermatologist because I just feel like my skin is not skinning how I want it to skin and it's mainly just like this area right here because I keep breaking out right there and I'm like why but what who this fuck okay so I'm gonna ask questions about that because why does I keep popping up I don't get acne in Dang, you came in here looking like a lost puppy. I don't get acne anywhere else. Just, just here. I don't get it here. I have like one little bump here, but I don't know what that's for. But yeah, so I just got a lot of questions. I didn't wear makeup to the appointment purposely, so she could really evaluate my skin. I did do my skincare routine. I moisturized really well because it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside yeah i don't know that felt like real kyle energy that yeah that was definitely a kyle type energy it's cold outside like i got a moisturizer i'm not gonna go in there looking dingy and she like that's why hold on now baby i got a skincare routine okay just just help me out a little bit it's currently 10 22 and my appointment's at 10 30. So I might be a little bit late. Yeah, I will see y'all in the car on the way to the dermatologist appointment. Or I will just see y'all at the dermatologist. I might not be with my camera. So the quality may just go down a little bit. Like a tad bit. Because I might be on my phone. Because I don't really want to be on this lady face. Like, <laughs> sorry, I'm a YouTuber. Well, relax, 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 relax. But I might pull it out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I just got, I got to scope the scenery out. So... <laughs> I need to stop calling TikToks, but I am almost late. Well, I am late. About to be. It's 10 22. Probably 10 24 now. Yep, so it is. So I will catch you guys at the dermatologist. Bye. Well, see y'all later. Like a brief. Here, and we gonna get this big out. They have a cute little Christmas tree. I call my mama. I'm like, Mom, what's your date of birth? But what? You can ask no black person any type of personal information because they there's no one answer the question. I'm like, for the insurance, and she's just like, you already have an insurance card. They should use your. I'm like, Ma, they have the you're the policy holder, Ma. And she like, oh, okay. Girl, when were you born? I want your social now. And I'm whispering because you know it's awkward already. Like it's quiet in here. And I'm like, not trying to be the, the loud person here. <laughs> yeah. But they took pictures of me. Like they took pictures of like the acne here. And then they took pictures of my eyes because like, why do I look tired? Like, you see that tire and then th th that one little bump right there they took the pictures <laughs> y'all can screenshot too before and yeah so i am back from the dermatologist i basically talked to the dermatologist down here it's basically just hormonal acne so she prescribed me a medicine for that i gotta go pick it up later because when i left it wasn't ready so I'll, i'm not gonna sit around and wait but i was gonna go get something to eat or drink but i really just didn't feel like it, driving out of my way or stopping getting out of the car I didn't, I didn't feel like doing nothing so and on top of that i had to hurry up because i do have a video to edit to get out to y'all today and then on top of the video i have to edit i have to finish this one so today i'm just gonna try to do get some cleaning done editing um like tackle some phone calls that i have to make or whatever 
and that's pretty much it so right now i'm just getting started on my editing process sometimes i like to do it on my laptop but right now we going in with the ipad but i feel like it's dead so ah i just pulled my nose ring i don't know if y'all ever if y'all got a nose ring or not but if you ever pull that thing woo. and another thing about nose rings Whenever I first got my nose ring, I used to sleep with a bandaid on because I was scared of it getting attached to the pillow. That was a fear of mine. I was very cautious. I ain't even gonna be able to edit from my iPad since it's dead. But I was so cautious about sleeping with no bandaid on my nose. So when I finally stopped sleeping with a bandaid on my nose, I kid y'all not, like a month or two later, I was laying down on my pillow and I didn't know, I, but I woke up and it, my nose piercing, I had a different one in. I think I just had like the little stub, but my nose piercing was attached to the pillow. And I woke up and I just said, <gasps> and it pulled it. Bro, I was bleeding so bad. Real bad. Like it was blood all over the pillow. So it was like that the whole night, I guess. So, mm hmm. I will say, if you got a nose piercing, you got to be real, real careful. And after I get some editing done, I think I'm gonna start in the. I think I'm gonna start in the second bedroom, I'm trying to organize because the new year's coming up, and I don't know. Like you go into the new year with everything organized, everything clean, everything just where it need to be. You don't go into the new year dirty. That's just how I was raised. I don't know about y'all. I suggest you, you take that advice, and do what you do with it as you please, but. For me and my household, we gonna clean. We gonna we gonna we gonna get it right. So I guess I'm going to start in the other bedroom for that. But right now, I'm going to catch up on this Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm I need to catch up on that. But Real Housewives of Potomac. I will say. Coming up next. One thing I don't really know about is why Neka, Nika, Neka, and Wendy are beefing. I haven't seen the beef, but I've seen like little snippets. But I've also seen Wendy like talking about how, um, Ashley was telling Wendy that Neka was asking if she was a part of some some witchcraft. I don't know. Some something demonic. That's what I do know. Something not of God. And asking if her family was a part of that and like shunned or whatever in their Nigerian culture. And Ashley brought it to Wendy as if Neka brought it to her. Ashley, you're the one who brought that up and asked Neka about it. She just wanted to be messy. And then she's going to say, I think I brought back the wrong information. You knew you brought back the wrong information. You're messy. And I'm glad, I'm glad Candace picked up on that because she messy. And she's too old for that. You're too old to be messy like that. She brought back information to stir two successful black women up. Not only two successful black women, two successful black women of the same culture. That's big hater vibe. And I'm just eating my leftovers from last night. I ain't gonna hold y'all. I like Candace. I don't know. She's standing on business. She's standing on business. Watch TV or come pick up. Come pick up. Oh my god. She's like, he doesn't have a job. 
But y'all, I can't sit here and, and watch it all day. I got business to attend. So now that this iPad is like a smidgen tad, tad charged up, we finna put this bad boy in here and get these files off. Okay, y'all, so I came to like a little stopping point on editing because the video will be up at 7, 8. But I just wanted to talk about the prescriptions I was prescribed because I just picked one up. The other two are on their way. They're getting shipped here. But the first one, um, I can't really show you much. Yeah, so the first one is Spironolactone. I'm actually about to take it right now for like the first time, so. It said take it with food, so I think I should be good. And I'm happy that they're small. Like, they're real small looking tablets, so I like it. Let me go get some water. So, it did say, I can't find my Stanley, but we got this core. It did say that it could cause drowsiness, dizziness. So... I'm not gonna lie I honestly struggle with taking pills I don't know why it's like my throat don't open up how y'all open up like I don't know what the issue is but the next couple medicines that they prescribed to me were arazolone and it said to apply a pea sized amount to clean dry face two nights a week. And then the spironolactone, I have to take one tablet by mouth twice a day with a tall glass of water. So, I mean, this ain't no tall glass of water. So, I need to drink the rest of this. And then the next thing they prescribed me was Axone, which is a topical gel with pump apply thin layer to face. Okay. I can work with it. The spironolactone is basically just for acne. I mean, I know y'all probably like, girl, you don't really have acne. But I don't know if y'all see these little bumps right here. I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't like it. I don't care if they little. I don't care if they be. I do care if they be. But I don't, I don't, I don't want them there. I don't want them there. And I know y'all might think like you're dramatic, but I care about my skin a lot. I know my skin doesn't look terrible. I know there's really not a lot wrong with my skin but this is new and it gotta stop so i like to act i like to be proactive rather than reactive so i want to prevent any more from this coming up so that's exactly what i'm gonna do the other two um that are arazolo i think it's for the same thing but she also said that it did target um like dark spots that it's gonna cause from acne as you see dark spots because i had acne there and then um so it's going to target like texture all that type of stuff axone i really don't like i don't know what she said that was for i think that was also for also for acne bear i don't know so we're gonna try those i do go back it like i said in two months because she wants to see how that's working for me, if it's working, and then we're gonna start a whole new process for other things. So I'm really excited. They did say the spironolactone will make you pee a lot and you're supposed to stay hydrated. So I will be doing that. Uh, I'm gonna have a new skincare routine. So it's gonna be uh, a gentle cleanser. What they prescribed me, um, moisturizer and sunscreen. If it's in the daytime night gentle cleanser weather prescribed me moisturizer that's it oh and i did get let me show y'all i did get this little cream where is it I did get this little cream and it's called Biopel. I have a hair in my face, I hate that. But it's called Biopel Dark Circle Relief Cream. 
um i got this from the dermatologist's office that she was just like for the dark circles you could just use this and maybe i'm not getting enough sleep that's what it is but recently i have been staying up pretty late to get these vlogs and all this stuff out to y'all so that might be what it is and then just to do everything i need to do i've kind of been staying up a little later normally i'm the type of person to go to bed by i'm in the bed by eight o'clock sleep by nine so i have been shaking up that routine a little bit but yeah but other than that we're going to try all these things and see how they do and i'm going to continue to give you guys updates um i'm going to give y'all like a two week update a one like a, a one month update and then i'm gonna give y'all update before i go back to her at two month mark well i'm gonna try to give y'all multiple updates but she did say the spread in the lactone she said it takes about a month or two to kick in so she was like but once it's in it's in like you know so let's just see how this goes i'm kind of excited because glass skin loading y'all yeah so now that we already talked about that i'm about to i don't know if i'm just like this is why i don't like reading side effects because your brain start mimicking the effects i don't know why but i'm just like oh i feel i feel dizzy girl it ain't kicked in that quick but um i'm about to do like a mini clean i don't know like try to organize mainly today we're just gonna be doing the second bedroom because i feel like i've been in there a lot well i'm in there often but and so is yd so we're kind of we're i'm gonna try to organize my vanity and stuff like that because i feel like it's just gotten so like I, it's just so unorganized it's so unorganized especially from that very chaotic get ready with me so i really want to just clean off my makeup with like a little wet wipe or whatever make sure everything's clean and clean out the drawers put everything back where i have them replace them if i would like or stuff like that get rid of old products um we're coming into the new year so and then sephora is having like a sale i don't know if y'all know but sephora is having a sale uh so y'all might need to jump on that i know i will I know, I know i will so i really want to try some new foundations um so if y'all have any foundation recommendations drop them in the comments but i do want to try i'm also a little iffy i do want to try the um giorgio Armani uh foundation the luminous silk or whatever i really want to try that one because i don't know it's just something about that foundation that i want to try so i think i'm gonna get three new foundations and the new foundations i want are the Giorgio Armani. i've been hearing a lot about house labs i'm iffy on it but so everybody said it's good but i do want to try the i be hearing a lot about estee lauder and i remember this one time i was in the mall and I tried Estee Lauder and I felt like my foundation has never separated before. Like it was like terrible. But I don't know. I was also like 17 at the time. So I don't know if I because I did prime or or what. I don't know what it was, but I know I did not like it and I held it against them ever since. So I might want to try it again with the knowledge I know of makeup now. Because I don't know. I feel like maybe I played myself and just didn't do it right and that's probably exactly what it was because when i was like 17 doing makeup i did not use a primer sorry y'all i did not use a primer i i barely set like i was just raw dog in life so sephora's having a crazy sale right now y'all like y'all might need to hop on the sephora sale uh it's all this one for you pookie the one that's saying sephora but let's go ahead and start this cleanup process because i feel like i am dreading it so let's go ahead and get in here Ugh, look how like messy it looks it looks so messy in here like let's just do a before like drawers not closed like what is really going on like some of the stuff isn't even hung up 
um what these station looks pretty yeah. and then like old navy bag like sephora bag like it's just a lot going on and i don't like it so with that being said i'm going to do something about it because i can't live like that babe so let's prop i want to start where do i want to start first let's get some cleaning supplies i came in here with bare hand nothing like girl what did i expect to do yeah i'm just gonna take that so i'm just gonna take this little um awesome spray i know it looks like the method but i got it from dollar tree but i ran out of the method and also had this so i feel like they work the exact same if you don't really want to spend the money dollar tree dollar do, dollar 25 tree my bad dollar 25 tree because ain't nothing in that dollar like hello but okay so i'm gonna start with the very first drawer like i'm gonna try to look at this drawer though look look at this drawer like it is absolutely disgusting the hair on the lashes like gross i have to throw all those lashes away because that is so insanitary my brushes they're actually were just washed not too long ago but i didn't wash the containers what a stupid move so i'm gonna take them out the containers wash the containers and put the brushes back in because how you gonna wash the brushes but not what the brushes are in dumb so and then this like come on gross i'm gonna put that in the washer and then we're gonna move on from there the second one and i need to put like little sliders on these but these are the foundations i have this one is really dark for me actually but i'll be lightening it up so is this one yeah so. anyways this is a okay drawer it's just not organized how i would like it this is drawer um it's just the hair in there i don't really like and then this drawer oh my god i hate this drawer this is my hair drawer where i do my hair absolutely terrible these are little marks from the flat iron so i don't get nothing like my desk pretty and then those all down there are a whole bunch of palettes but it's just like i don't know me personally i feel like i have way too much going on and sometimes and i keep dang stand up and i keep finding makeup and like in other places like there's makeup on top of here it's just like all of this like it's just way too much going on and i don't like it so we are about to do something about it so oh i forgot to tell y'all the pictures actually came back so we have the pictures now um gross yep and as you see i have like four of these this is actually how i do my lashes i do my lashes on my own yeah but so the pictures came back and when i say in love with the pictures in love with the pictures like they are beautiful so i already put them on my tv <laughs> like as a lot screen for my tv yeah uh you can do that you can do that honey i want to see the pictures go check out my instagram and y'all can see more there i'm gonna go i'm probably gonna do a haul after i get done christmas shopping and everything because and to be honest i'm not even like really christmas shopping because every i really want to do a video of like buying people's gifts in the store but for one my friends are nosy everybody i follow are nosy and they do watch my videos well i know leslie do leslie will see it and leslie gonna talk about it so they and they nosy and don't let don't let leslie say oh mari in there showing what she got everybody or she shopping for christmas gifts don't let them see that because they're gonna click on the video quick so i just can't even do it but on top of that, I'm not even doing it because I'm ordering everything. It's just so much easier. It's I feel like it's cheaper too. Okay, y'all. So while I was cleaning, um, I just got done with this area. That took me like an hour, hour and 30 minutes. So I'm not going to hold y'all. But while I was cleaning this area, I did catch up on Real Housewives. But let's just show y'all the area first. Clear the area. Okay, so 
I cleaned off the desk and organized it. So nice. So nice. So nice. And what y'all waiting for? Bam! So nice. It looks like really crowded, but this smells very nice. And then, boom, those are just palettes. And then a couple of hair things. But now it is time to tackle this part of the room. Hopefully, I don't think this part is going to take me that long. Simply because this part is typically always organized. Just because, like, anytime I'm over here, like, I make sure to keep it organized. But there is, like, the table's a little dirty. It's a little crowded. It's our bag here. Amazon package here. Like, it's, it's, a little, it's a little messy. But we're about to get that together. And... I think I'm going to tag y'all along for this one because I didn't really tag y'all along for the last one. So I guess we can just sit here and talk. And I am going to take Lenny and like so he can vacuum the floor. Because it's not vacuumed at all. So, And if you don't know who Lenny is, they figure it out. Lenny is just my vacuum cleaner. So I'm going to put all trash in here. And you know when y'all know when y'all start cleaning and it start getting hot. Yeah, that's how I feel. Like I'm very hot. But oh, dang. So I ordered these books. Okay. But I got this pink Bible. I said these books. These these books. The book. Um, I got this pink Bible. Super cute. Yeah, and then I got, oh my, did y'all see that? Then I got this women's study Bible, which is super cute. And it has like little pictures. Yep. So I recently just ordered those from Amazon. I will link those down below because it's much needed. Then I just have this Sephora bag that is trash. This is the before. Got the little markers. That's for the little board right there. About um, chalk board, and then these are like battery cases, microphones, and then and this one is like a hot mess of a drawer. This is that one drunk, drunk. Oh my gosh! This is that one junk drawer in your house, and. Um, I don't even know what's all in here, but we're gonna get this together real quick. I think tomorrow's video is going to be me, ooh, is going to be me deep cleaning the house because this is just one bedroom. Like we have a living room, a kitchen, uh, that bathroom, another bathroom, um, another bedroom. Like we, it's a, it's a lot. So I, I know if I do it all today, I'm not going to do it. The best of my ability because i'm like i'm done and i do have to edit so tomorrow i think i'm gonna film a video of me let me talk and work i think i'm gonna film a video of me um doing a deep clean so y'all be on the lookout for that y'all like cleaning videos we finna clean and try to talk maybe not talk
Okay, now I am done with that part of the room. Let me show y'all. This part of the room is completed. So I have my chair. And then that type of stuff. This drawer. That type of stuff. And then my iPad goes there. My MacBook goes there. And then very plain and simple. I am, oh, and I have a couple cords in the floor, but it just works conveniently for me. But so I have uh, something to charge my camera batteries there, but I have another one in the floor because it won't reach up top. So I like to just tuck it in like that. But I have a lot of cords because a lot has to be plugged up. Like the Amari light has to be plugged up. Um, I have to plug up my MacBook cord, that, the light, the, it's just, it's a lot. It's, so lastly in the room is just YD's area. So I'm just going to like tidy up his area. His is pretty cool. Um, he just has his blanket over here. So this is his little chair with a little massager on the back, but he just has like, he just keeps a little blanket on the back. He got some socks over here. They look dirty. So I'm going to put those and it's a little hamper. I'm gonna put those right there for now. But this PS5 looking a little dusty. I wonder if I put it in some water, will it work? No, I'm just playing. Yeah, so I'm gonna clean this area and then I'm gonna come back with y'all to y'all with the final result of the whole entire room. And um, I just gotta fix that over there. That. And then I will come back to y'all and show y'all the final results of a clean, organized room. So I think he had the easiest area to complete. So I just put his book that he's reading here and then some of his like other little stuff down here. I just put his watch, his um, little chain up there, his water because he needs to stay hydrated. Then I just put one of his controllers there. Then he has like a little soccer ball. I don't know. I thought it was cool. And then he had some lights. I didn't know he was going to do with them, so I didn't touch them. And then he has, like, these little people. Um, looks like LeBron James and Curry Stephen. And then I he just had, like, these little things. So I just kept them where they were. And then his little keyboard. I, I wiped everything down, too. And then he had his little all his cords. I think that was super annoying, but I didn't want to unplug anything. So I just did it the best way I could. And I put his little headset there. Well, it's already there, but I put it there a little neater. It's a little crooked. There. So that is YD's area. This is the finishing look of everything. Got that together. Got that together. Real nice, real nice. Yeah. That purse, um, we gonna know that. Got that together. Got that together. Old Navy bag disappeared. Then we got that together and then all of that is good. Oh, I gotta move that iron, ignore that. But everyone area is clean. And I'm just gonna take Lenny and put him in the flow. Put him in the flow. Come on, Lenny. Get to work, buddy. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed my dermatology appointment. Ignore the background, babe. I have to get here. But it, I hope you guys enjoyed going to the dermatologist with me. Um, 2024 is the year for glass skin, period. And I will catch you guys in Vlogmas Day 20. Bye.